Hello and welcome to Jacob's Toys. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. It's arrived. The Ramen Racer. This thing is huge. Now, first things first, I've got to say the packaging, next level. Absolutely next level. The detail on the box is fantastic. There's some really cool artwork there. I'll just show you very quickly inside. Even the way that it's all wrapped up and layered is just phenomenal. It's a really decent piece. So what is the Ramen Racer? Ramen Racer is a 1 12th scale vehicle that scales with your Mezcos, your Marvel Legends and all the rest of it. This has been in the works for a couple of years now. Very, now. very brief, quick history. I think it was 2022. Marvel Legends did a HasLab for the Hell Charger, the Ghost Rider, um, Robbie Reyes Hell Charger. And it looked cool. And as a, as a fan of Ghost Rider, as you can see here, I'm a big fan of Ghost Rider. I've got a lot of the figures. I was really excited for it. I know there were a lot of people that were excited for it, but there was a lot of people that said it was overpriced. And unfortunately, it didn't reach its funding goal and it never went to production. But like a phoenix from the ashes, Ramen Toy very quickly designed and put out prototype images for the Ramen Racer. And a lot of people got behind it. So this thing went to production. And here we are, fast forward 2024, people have it in hand. And I must say, it is one of the best action figure I don't want to say accessories, but one of the best action figure kind of additions that I've seen in a very long time. There is so much to this. I'm going to do my best to show you in its entirety and show you as much as I can in the video. But even then, the video does not do it justice. But yes, the Ramen Racer from Ramen Toy. Go and check them out over on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And of course, you can check out their website as well. They've got a whole bunch of really cool projects. And if the racer is anything to go by, they are definitely one to keep your eye on because I think they are just going to go from strength to strength. And we're going to see some very good things and very cool things from them as the years go on. But here we go. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at the Ramen Racer. Okay, so we've already looked at the box, but here's a closer look just because I really do love the artwork on this. Now, I couldn't see exactly who the artist was, um, but I'm sure they're credited somewhere. But it's just nice. It's simple. It's not overplayed. It's just a nice box. Definitely worth keeping. Now, inside, there's a polystyrene insert. At the bottom layer, you've got two uh, additional sets of wheels so you've got the inferno pack wheels which are these translucent kind of yellowy orange wheels that obviously go as part of the inferno pack there's four there there's two larger ones for the back of the car and two smaller ones for the front of the car and then you've also got this other set here with the magnetic hubcaps on them so it gives you another option for the kind of standard look of the car now i say magnetic hubcaps because these wheels also have the ability to attach the flames to which we'll get to a little bit later but if you don't want to display it with the flames on then you can put these hubcaps on magnetically now there's a lot of magnetic parts to this uh, ramen racer which i think is a really nice touch and i wasn't aware at the time when they were advertising it and putting it together but things like the hubcaps that are magnetic is a real plus so that's the bottom layer in the top layer that goes over the top of the car there's kind of a, a polystyrene sheet at the top that holds all the rest of the pieces in you lift that up as so and then it shows you what's in the top layer and the top layer is the inferno pack as well as a couple of additional um, interchangeable parts so the inferno pack is of course the flames and the translucent wheels and as well as uh, a couple of other bits here and there so what I've got is I've got the standard pack, I've got the interchangeable pack and the Inferno pack. So I don't know exactly where the line draws between them, but there's essentially two additional packs that go onto this, this car. Now, Ramen Toy did say that they are going to re release a uh, future um, accessory pack, so um, interchangeable pack. So where I've got two here, I've got the interchangeable pack and the Inferno pack. They are going to release further packs down the line, which is very exciting indeed because it means there'll be even more options with this car and the versatility of your displays. I'm really torn as to which 
design I'm going to use for my display. So when they first advertised it, I thought, you know what, the Inferno pack will look great with the Ghost Rider figures that I've got, Robbie Reyes is there, um, the flames and all the rest of it. But the quality of this model really makes me want to display it in the other ones. So I think it's a 68 and a 69 Dodge that they've modelled the uh, car on. Um, we'll get to that in a minute though. So that was the wire that you can hardwire the car into the mains if you want to using the USB cord. This little pack here, I wasn't sure what it was until I looked at the instruction manual because it does look out of place because it's like a green kind of trunk. It's in the trunk and it's like a green kind of ammo box. But it turns out that's for the battery. So if you do get the battery so that you can uh, use it remotely, then the battery sits in this little pack. But I'll get to that a little bit later in the video. So there we go. That's all of the parts in the uh, extra packs, the Inferno pack and the add-on pack. There is another little bag though, so I'll get to that. There are a couple of additional accessories that I wasn't aware of. These are actually stored inside the car on the back seat, so do make sure you check it out. There's the, um, the fender, no this one sorry isn't, the, yeah there's the fender piece there that goes on the front, the little hooks, the, the fender piece and also some more magnetic hubcaps. You've got a alternate engine, so this is obviously the orange translucent that goes with the inferno side of it and I've got the Robbie Rare's head. Now this is limited i think they did it for the first 7000 orders don't quote me on that but it was definitely limited to a certain number there's a the little rear view mirror as well that i've just got attached in the on the inside and you've got a a belt as well that goes around the engine for authenticity here's all the pieces out of the bags and out of the plastic and as you can see there is just a lot so let's have a look at this robbie reyes head very quickly let me zoom in so you can get a better look of it just the tooling on this alone is next level. So the translucent flames on the on the skull, and you've got a little bit of articulation in the jaw there as well. Of course, you're going to need a body for that, but if you do watch any of my other previous videos, I did do a custom Robbie Reyes uh, figure. Now, these are the flame packs as part of the Inferno pack. Each one of them is individually battery operated. So I'll get to that again a little bit later in the video in regards to what batteries you need but they are individually battery operated. So it doesn't mean that you can switch them all on with one switch, which is a shame, but when you see what they look like lit up, you'll see that although it would be more convenient to have a single switch, there's something very cool about them, but we'll get to that. So these two uh, engines are exactly the same. It's just one's cast in a chrome uh, plastic and one's chrome in a, it, it cast in a translucent plastic. So you attach this particular flame piece to the top of those uh, engine parts and it kind of uh, resembles the way that the engine lights up in the comic books so looks very cool um, I like that they've added a translucent engine I didn't realize that that was there these little pieces here they're the magnetic hubcaps to go on the wheels that are already on the car so they just kind of cover up the screws so it's very realistic looking and this little triangle bit is a magnetic fender addition uh, so on one version of the dodge you had this kind of little triangle piece this is the uh, the fuel cap that goes over and hides the uh, usb port for the uh, for the wire that was the rubber band that i told you about that kind of goes on the engine for authenticity and these are the fender spikes i can't think of the the right word for them but they go underneath the car there's a place and a, a socket and a magnet for everything on this vehicle this is an additional front fender. These little pieces pop out so you can see the headlights or you can pop them in to, uh, to conceal the headlights. It's very cool indeed. This is the rear view uh, fender piece. Rear view fender, is that even a word? Um, and this is another under fender metal piece that, you know, depending on what look of the car you're going for. That's a wire, you know. These are the two additional hoods. So one has a hole in it for the engine to come through. I think this was the 69 Dodge Charger, I think. Um, and then the 68 version had this kind of, this flap for the engine. So very cool indeed. Uh, this is the version of the Dodge that Blade used in the movies. So you've got that option there, so you can have it as Blade's car, or of course if you're using it as Robbie Reyes' car, then you have the 69 Dodge Charger version, and then you can have the engine coming out the top. Here are the wheels, these are the magnetic hubcaps I was telling you about, quite easily just pop on and off, and then you can see there that black piece has two uh, holes in it for these two pegs on the, the flame parts, the flames just sit in the wheel there, 
And what's really good is you don't lose movement. So the wheels still move around. So the the design and the, the ingenuity of this is phenomenal. I thought that the wheels were going to be static once you put these flame pieces on, but they're not. You know, if you were using this as a as a playable toy and not a, a display piece, then you could put these flame pieces on and still drive the car around, which I think is uh, an addition to the, the vehicle that you don't even need but just shows the level of design ingenuity that they've gone to. Um, and here it is with the Inferno wheel as well. They look really good with the, the flames on them. Here is the vehicle. And as you can see, I mean, I don't know if the video even does it justice. It is an absolutely stunning piece of design. Um, the doors open up, the front doors open up, the, the seats do tilt forwards and backwards as you can see there I've got them in two different positions and they also slide forward and backwards. So if you've got a slightly larger figure you can push that uh, the seat back and if you've got a slightly smaller figure you can push it forward and of course you've got the back seats as well but it's just lovely. It's, it's designed in like a matte finish so it doesn't have any kind of reflection on it. Um, here's these little hubcap bits. As I said, they just pop in and just conceal the screw there. Um, I'll show you a little bit later, but basically you use that screw behind that hubcap piece to remove the wheel and then put a different wheel on. And it is really simple and straightforward to do so. Let's carry on and take a look. This is the uh, the fuel cap. As I said, there is a there is both a top and bottom way of plugging in a wire. So there's the top one and you can just conceal that with the uh, fuel cap and then there is one on the underneath as well let's see if i can just flip this around see even the underneath looks really nice but you can see just there below my hand there is uh, there's the on and off switch and there is the usb connector so if you don't want the wire to go in through the top you can have it going through the bottom and also underneath the trunk as well is the speaker there's the trunk speaking of the trunk Let's move the camera around. You can see that's the wire there for the battery. So if you do want to get a battery, you can attach it to the battery, uh, attach the wire to the battery and have the thing work remotely, shall we say. Otherwise, you do have to have it plugged into a USB uh, point, which isn't the end of the world. But for me, with things like action figure photography and with the display case that I've designed and built for this, I need it to have a battery. Uh, you lift the hood up. And you can actually remove the engine that's in there. Uh, there's there's no real reason for that to be removed, but again, it's just another little um, a, a little design thing that I think is really cool. They've not designed it built into the hood. You can actually take it out, and if you wanted to, you could remove the engine and store stuff in there. But you know, if you want it for, to look like the vehicle, then of course you keep the engine in there. And the top of that is magnetized, so that when you've got the different hood on you can put the additional engine piece and have it coming up through the uh, through the bonnet but as, I can, as you can see here it just looks really good it's just such a good finish now I was worried about how you're going to change these bonnet pieces over but they simply just slide out like that uh, they are put in nice and tight but they slide out with ease as well so you don't lose any um, uh, any value in the the overall finish of the vehicle by having it interchangeable it's it's designed literally millimeter perfect so you can just slide those pieces on so this is the i think it's the 69 dodge charger that had the the additional engine part come through the top but you can see there that it just sits on the top and it just makes it look like a completely different car already like totally changes it and that's without me moving the fenders around or changing the wheels just that simple change on the bonnet is enough to make it look like a completely different vehicle you could have three of these lined up next to each other um, in different kind of configurations and they would look different enough that they would look good on your shelf um, and I'm a little bit disappointed that I haven't got two because I'm really torn now between two of the specific designs uh, I really like the the kind of 68 version where it's like blades car with the the flap on the top of the hood but I also really like the Robbie Reyes version with all the inferno pack um, put onto it what I think is really nice as well is that these packs that they've created, these two um, accessory pack and the Inferno pack, aren't just little bits that kind of stick onto the front of what you've already got. They are full interchangeable pieces. So you take off like the fender, you take off the wheels, you take off the bonnet and you swap it around for different looks. Here's the, the one that I was talking about that's, that's similar to the way that it looks in the Blade films. 
and as you can see they're, they're, they're really nice. Now the fenders slip out really easily, uh, I'll say that, there we go. Um, magnetized again and all you do is you get the, the new piece that you want to put in and you just slide it in and it kind of clips into place using magnets but it's really really straightforward. There is an instruction manual like a, a double sided instruction manual. It's well worth having a read through that because it tells you kind of how hard to push on things and, and where to exactly hold on to things so that you don't damage anything um, but I do suggest that you have a quick read through that but I think most collectors who have picked up the, the Rama Racer will look at that instruction manual so you don't need me to tell you to read the instructions. Um, here's another one of the fender pieces this bit goes on the top so it sticks over the top which actually allows you to leave the original fender in place and then this just sticks over the top but it does kind of extend the front of the vehicle out a little bit and give it a completely different look. Now, I'm not sure where this piece goes I think it goes under here I just need to get it the right way around um, maybe I've got that in the wrong place but it no it goes on when the other fender is there so it doesn't work with this this additional one let's have a look at these little spikes though so they go in there's slots underneath the car um, underneath the fender there where these just slide in and hold in place really nicely one thing that I do have to say for the design and the ingenuity of this vehicle I think that's the right word to use but it's it's been designed millimeter perfect there's no kind of flappy bits there's no kind of loose bits it's all very tight and precise and it feels like it would kind of it, it would work if you're picking it up and moving it around you're not going to be worried about things falling off and falling apart like it all sticks in place really nicely which is what you want from kind of a high-end adult collector's item and especially something a bit bigger this is something special this really is something else and I think that this item alone regardless of the the catalogue of things that Raman Toy have available and have in production this item alone shows just how much care and precision and accuracy is going into their design so 100% support Raman Toy and if there's something on their website that, that takes your fancy then I would say back support pledge whatever it is whatever it might be with confidence because this is made very well and I'm not just saying that that's not just me kind of blowing smoke this is made very very well I can't wait to get into the inferno packs to show you just how much of a transformation this vehicle has when you add that inferno pack um, let's have a little look at the rear and just the kind of interchangeable parts that you've got at the rear so you have this piece this doesn't go here it doesn't I, don't, I know it doesn't go here I don't even know why I'm messing around with it but either way I'm gonna I'm gonna persevere but the there is an interchangeable uh, rear light set so you've got these kind of um, longer lights on the back and then you can have the circular lights as well so either one of those would look really good I personally like this kind of this longer extended light um, I just think it looks quite nice but just the amount of chrome on the back just looks really smart while I'm here let me put this hubcap piece uh, the uh, petrol case petrol petrol cap piece in um, put these on there we go that's the metal piece that I was trying to fit on the front uh, for, trying to fit on the back let's have a look inside because even inside the sheer amount of detail and care that's been taken is phenomenal let me just show you here's how you adjust the seats forwards and backwards it's simply just a little slide switch there but if I zoom in a little bit you can see there's a really nice kind of tan brown finish on the inside which is very in keeping with the kind of late 60s and the detail just on the speedometer and all that kind of stuff the chrome on the pedals they've got the Raman racer signature kind of floor mats there the gear stick does move around so you can actually shift gears the, there's movement in the um, steering wheel there and as I said there's the pedals underneath and when it's all lit up as well lights do come through these speedometers and stuff so you can actually see them uh, from the outside and of course if you've got a character or a, a, a figure inside the vehicle then it lights up as well so you can kind of see who's in there um, while we're talking about characters I'll grab a figure and just show you how it looks with um, a figure and how well a figure does scale with the vehicle with them in because that is something that people hesitate a little bit about with uh, kind of vehicles and kind of in scale vehicles is whether characters do fit in and stuff now this is the Punisher figure so without even moving the seats around he's a little bit too big but if I move the seat back a little bit 
and you know moved him around I, I think he would fit better but as you can see he doesn't look out of place at all he looks in scale with the actual Raman racer it all works very well so yeah there we go this is the Marvel Legends Punisher from the Rider series actually the one that came with the the uh, motorbike so he he doesn't fit in exactly but enough that he's in scale with the vehicle so there we go but the inside I think is equally just as beautiful and considering that's not going to be on display in a lot of people's collections you're not really going to be able to showcase the inside of the vehicle I think the fact they've taken so much time and care with the inside of the vehicle says a lot about the company and the care that they're putting into their um, their their product it is really really nice so let me have a look at blade this is the marvel legends blade and as you can see just standing alongside it he just looks right you know it just it looks like it belongs to him um even though this is a movie car that you know you saw it in the movie this is the closest to that we've had to what we've had as an official kind of modern version of blade from the movie so he you know he works but you can see he scales perfectly well he looks like a a standard kind of person stood next to the the, the vehicle if I turn it around a little bit as well just so you can see him stood next to the front because I think the front of this vehicle is probably my favorite and I think I'm gonna have to try to figure out a way of displaying it oh there's the little triangle hood bit that I said uh, fender bit that sticks onto the front of the fender but yeah I'm gonna have to figure a way of uh, displaying it so that you can fully appreciate the vehicle so speaking of other characters, let's have a look at the character that's obviously this car was designed for, and that is Robbie Reyes. Now this is my own custom Robbie Reyes figure that I made out of a Power Rangers figure actually, a Marvel uh, Hasbro Power Rangers figure. And I've got a head on here from a good friend, RDJ Custom Creations, and it is an awesome head. However, being sent the official kind of unofficial Ramen Racer skull rider figure head whatever it is that they officially called it this is the robbie reyes that i was hoping to get now this is just a really nice head as you can see here the flames are all translucent i'm trying my best the light's a little bit bright but it's all translucent and the finish on the head is just phenomenal there's an articulation in the jaw there so you can kind of open it and close it but both of these head sculpts are equally just as cool and i know that the rdj custom creation one shows up under black light and kind of all glows and everything but for the time being i'm now going to use this ramen racer head because it just kind of finishes the the, the whole look off um, i'll keep the chain there that rdj custom creations created for me but it's a good figure it's a good figure that goes with a good car and I'm really really pleased because I made this custom a long time ago hoping that it would look good next to this vehicle and yeah it does also look there's suspension in the car which is really cool so let's get on to it let's do this inferno pack let's make this car let's transform this car into what it's supposed to look like now batteries are not included however you can pick up these LR44s I think they are um, pretty cheaply I think this pack was about £6 on Amazon and there's more than enough there for what I need I think you need about 15 batteries to cover the, the four wheels and the engine the other battery that you need is this one I can't remember exactly what it's called but it's essentially a remote control um, vehicle battery I think it's something like a, a 800 M A H M A M A H um, seven point uh, three point seven volts five C. I don't know the exact specifications are in the instruction manual, but yeah, you can pick these up pretty much everywhere from like Amazon and eBay and all that kind of stuff. And it fits in the boot, as I said earlier. There's a little cable in there that you just attach the battery to. You can charge it up with a USB. But both of these batteries will set you back about. 15 pounds total um so what's that 15 about 18 dollars but you can pick them up on various different places well worth picking up because it really does make a difference to the vehicle now let's put this battery in place so that you can see what i mean um, i've not shown you it kind of fully lit up yet because i wanted to wait until i got the battery in place so that i could show you it but here we go so i'll take that bit of tape off let me just adjust the camera a little bit there You've got this wire here just be really careful because obviously you don't want to pull any wires out so be careful when taking it out clip the battery in place like that and there we go it just hides in the boot there you do have the little trunk case that you can put the uh the battery in but i'm not going to bother for this particular bit let me just turn it on 
And you can hear there that it plays a real kind of roaring, revving sound. At the same token, the lights flick. They kind of flicker in time with the, the, the engine sounds as well. That's the front lights. You've also got the internal lights that I spoke about earlier, kind of the dashboard lights. They all kind of flicker at the same time as well. Um, I'll just switch it off here and I'll just put it into sort of static mode so you can turn the sound off and then just have the lights on. But I need to show you what this car looks like in the dark. So I'm going to take it outside very quickly and just show you. Here it is with my custom Wesley Snipes blade figure. Now I've not got any other lights on this particular vehicle. I've just got the kind of lights from my house. But you can see just how bright those headlights are and as well the rear lights, the, the red uh, reversing lights, brake lights, whatever you want to call them, but they are really bright in the dark. But let's get this Inferno pack built. So, as I said earlier, there are little screws hidden underneath the hubcaps, underneath the, the middle of these wheels, not the hubcaps, sorry, the, the middle of the hubcaps, and you just kind of pick them out. I don't want to scratch them, so I'm going to be really careful. There we go, they come out quite easily because they're magnetic. You just get your screwdriver and you just undo the wheel. It's as simple as that. They've got two different size screws, different size screws in the front of the car and different size screws in the back of the car. So you can't mix those up, but I'm just gonna do one wheel at a time, literally take it off and replace it so that I don't mix anything up. Now, this is quite difficult to do while I've got a camera and lights in the way. So this is not a true reflection of how easy it is to undo these screws. So let me try to do it from a different angle. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, get yourself a screwdriver, a little mini screwdriver. And you can just take those wheels off they come out really simply and you pop the new wheel on and you do the do the screws up so you do that four times make sure you don't mix the wheels up you've like i said before you've got thicker ones for the back and thinner ones for the for the front uh, so make sure you don't mix them up make sure you get the right ones on in the right place but just while i'm doing them you can also appreciate the underside of the vehicle and how nice and detailed that is it would have been nice if they'd run the chrome all the way along but i totally understand why they didn't but there we go, there's the Inferno pack wheels. And as you can see, there's no loss in kind of articulation or the ability to roll it backwards and forwards. But already this is starting to look very different. Now these flame effects, again, you've got two different styles. You've got the rear ones and you've got the front ones. And when you put the, the batteries in, you've got this nice circular motion of flame. Now that's obviously the wrong way around because it looks like the wheels going backwards. So I'll switch that out and do the the one in the right way around but there you go if I put it that way you can see the the way the lights go around kind of insinuate that the wheels are turning which is a nice touch I thought these were just going to be kind of statically lit and just kind of light the flame up but no what they do is they they kind of give you the idea that the wheel is going round so as you can see there when it's on the vehicle it kind of gives the illusion that the vehicle is moving now, when it comes to things like action figure photography, you're obviously going to have to time it right. But all of these are going to be moving in slightly different times. But when you've got them all on together, they look really cool. Now, I'm going to swap the hood around. You've already seen me do this. Just simple snap out. Takes that hood piece off and I can swap it out for the, the 69 Dodge, I think it is, with the engine out the top. Now, do I go for the translucent one or do I go for the silver chromey looking one? Um... I think I'm going to go for the chrome one. Let's just have a look what this looks like on top of that. Oh, that's very cool. That is very cool. This has more of a, a kind of beating flame look as opposed to a motion flame. But I'm going to keep the silver one on just because I think it adds a, another layer to, to the vehicle. There's just something very cool about that big chrome engine sticking up through the hood. So I'll put that one on in a minute because I need to put the hood back on. But I'm very excited to get this turned into an Inferno version of the vehicle so let's just pop that hood on there now apart from obviously taking the wheels off this is all done in real time so you can see how easy it is to swap pieces around it's not an intricate detailed kind of process the reason i sped up the wheels is because i didn't want you to sit there watching me undo the wheels for five six minutes um, it makes sense to just speed it up but the rest of it is all done in real time now make sure you get the holes and the pegs lined up the illusion that this gives is that the flames are kind of going upwards as opposed to level with the car. I thought that they kind of ran alongside the car, but they don't. They actually fit onto the car so that the flames go upwards a little bit, which obviously looks a lot more accurate, which is very cool indeed. So let me get the right ones out. Here we go. The right ones in front of the right wheels. Let's turn them all on individually and pop them on. 
as I said the lights should be turning in the way that the car would be moving so it gives that illusion that the car is moving around so as you can see just on this side it looks very cool it's really really cool and the movement in these lights is something that again I didn't expect it wasn't something that I had read anywhere it wasn't something that as far as I'm aware was advertised anywhere but the fact that you've got motion in these lights is again another nice detail where something has really been thought about as opposed to just oh yeah we'll put an LED in the flame and that's cool they've actually gone you know what let's get rotating LEDs so that it gives that illusion of the wheels moving around but you can see just how cool that looks now this is under studio lighting and even under studio lighting you can see just how bright these are um, so I will take this outside as well just to show you fully how cool it is and there we go that's not me dragging it those wheels are turning around as I push it forwards and backwards a really nice surprising detail I really like this hood flame as well I like that kind of pulsing beating flame and I think it adds a nice like a different level to the to the whole kind of lit up version of the car but there we go uh, let's just grab Robbie Reyes and just put him in the middle that's it really isn't it there's his Dodge Charger and there is Robbie Reyes any Ghost Rider fan like myself is going to be very happy with this on their shelf um, I did actually make a custom case for it so that I can display this without fear of getting dust and stuff but anyway let's take it outside and have a look at it here we go here it is outside in its full glory with of course the sound as well and the headlights on it's just a very awesome car there's no two ways about it this is awesome um, do go and check out ramen toys website because there is talk about a second version of this car coming out so if you missed out on these first releases there is going to be a similar product available to purchase in the future so do go and check them out and see what they're cooking up but let me just turn the sound off just so that you can really appreciate how good these look I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away by the level of detail and thought and design that has gone into this. This is a really, really awesome product. Hands down, it just looks wicked. And as a Ghost Rider fan, I am over the moon with just how good this is. I am blown away. Thank you very much for watching. It really is an incredible piece. As I said, check the description of the video. Go and check out Ramen Toy on their website and all of their socials. Give them a follow, see what other projects they're up to. And of course, please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. I'll see you soon.